the mixer. Notice the splitters. These define the left, middle and right docks, where you can move any and all insert tracks. Hide docks by clicking on the splitters. Resize internal mixer controls by clicking on the handle on the splitter and dragging vertically. Right click the handle to reset. Routing works as before, but is visually much improved. This selected track is routed to these four send tracks. And on that point, we no longer have hardwired send tracks. The tracks here in the right dock have been set up to simulate the old behavior. In fact, we can move these to the middle dock if we want. And there they are. Okay, back to the right dock. So it's up to you how you want to configure the three docks. By the way, to the right you may have noticed that we now have 10 effect slots. And now a big change. The mixer is vertically scalable. You'll notice that as I drag vertically, more features become visible. So if some controls you are used to seeing aren't available, this could be the issue. You can also show and hide features with the extra property switch here. Just working down a mixer track, we have mute, pan, volume, phase, swap stereo channels, stereo separation, and FX master switch for the channel. This one has FX loaded, so it's lit. Plug in delay compensation control, a record arm switch, and routing out. Let's have a closer look at routing. As before, we can left click destination tracks to send to them. Let's switch to a larger view so the routing is more visible. At the top of the audio send volume knobs is a deselect switch. And if you find the cables all a bit too much, there's a mixer menu, view, show routing cables option. Then it's similar to before. But I like cables, so back they go. On the topic of mixer track views, there are now six view mode options that interact with your horizontal and vertical size. So plenty of options there for customized views. Extra large is a little more special. It now shows the effects in use per track. I'll just load a project with some effects in it. I'm using compact view so that removes empty slots and shows the logical order. You can turn that off if you want to see the gaps. Let's have a look at some of the grouping options. I'll right click the track and route these starting from this track. The shortcut is Shift Control L, so let's use that. Now let's make a submix group. To make a multiple selection, hold Shift plus Control or Control left click and drag. I'll right click a member of the selection and select group. Let's rename that. Select an icon for it, and finally a color. Now we have dividers bounding the group. Dividers are visual indicators, they don't have a technical function. Now all these tracks are still routed to the master. To fix that, I can control plus left click on the track I want to use as the submix. Notice it's highlighted lighter than the rest meaning it's the selected target for a right click menu option. Then from the right click menu, I can select track routing, route selected to this track only. And we have a submix to the master. You can also add separators anywhere you like. They will appear to the left of the selected track. Finally, if you're using the mixer in multi-touch mode, selecting this multi-touch control switch allows you to control multiple faders at once. Turn it off to access multi-touch gestures to do things like two finger tap for multiple selections.